All right, so it's Friday night. It's the night before the tournament. We're fishing with Toggle Lake with Tennessee Christian Bass Anglers tomorrow. Uh, if you're watching this and you live in East Tennessee, you know what's going on. It's been raining basically every day for the past week and a half. Uh, so the water is rising up on Watauga. The upper end is super muddy. Any of the creeks, any of the rivers, the Rhone, uh, the Watauga, the Elk, um, any of those up there are getting stained and they got a lot of mud in them so we're really going to have a, a two-pronged approach to tomorrow you got the lower end which is clear which we're going to do some finesse fishing in and you got the upper end where we're going to get in those creeks and do some cranking but practice was really about finesse we focused a lot of our attention on finding bait in the ditches and the drains or the guts up there on Watauga um, and caught fish with a with an underspin uh, the other bait was a Kitek a little 2.8 so again downsizing the second day of practice when dad was up there throwing throwing crankbaits, uh, chartreuse, some red, but again focusing a lot of his attention on the stain. So check out this video from practice.
All right, so you saw in practice that we're catching a lot of spotted bass, uh, which is a good thing upon we'll talk to get a limit because they only have to be 12 inches. Um, and they're, they're fat right now, 14, 15 inch spots, gonna weigh two and a half, three pounds. Uh, but tomorrow's really gonna come down to two decisions. One, it's gonna come down to where you start. Uh, and two, it's gonna come down to the choice you make after that first bite. But what we're gonna start out with is we're gonna head to some muddy water and we're gonna start out throwing crankbaits. We're gonna get shallow, that water's rising, so we're gonna focus on where those fish should be going. They should be following that up. If things get kinda slow, we'll head back down the lake. And we may do this anyways towards the end of the day if we've got ourselves a limit, which hopefully that's the plan to get one early uh, and get more into a finesse style. The swim baits, um, the tight line and a crawdad fly and see if we can't find some larger larger smallmouth. And those first couple bites we get are gonna tell us a lot. So hopefully we can get up there, get a limit early out of the stained water, out of that mud where it's coming up. And then maybe later on in the day we can find us some big smallmouth down the lake. All right, guys, those of you watching the video, as you can see how blown out this area is. Said last night while we were getting tackle ready that it's gonna come down to that first, first stop and then the decision you make after that. Right now, I know it looks blown out. I'm just checking out a couple little eddy spots here. You can see that some of this garbage is backflow and you see it coming down beside us over here flowing pretty good but then you see that that backflow up here so i'm gonna just give it a shot really quick see if there's anything hanging out in this little eddy deal and then we're going to make an adjustment Fish. All right, so that guy came off, basically off the side of that tree there. You can see still chunk rock here. They seem to like that chunk rock, so a little 14 inch large mouth, probably a pound and a half.
I got a crank bait still up there somewhere. So that's a wrap on the fishing from Watauga. Uh, but let's recap a little bit of what's going on here. Um, Watauga was really one of those tournaments that this just builds your confidence. Uh, you kind of have this game plan going in. You have this idea in your head of what those fish are going to be doing because of the, the rising water and, and, and things muddying up. Uh, and to go in there and have that game plan and, and really execute it and those puzzle pieces fall into place and things kind of work out the way you feel like they should uh, was really just a big confidence builder. Uh, but the two main baits, as you saw in there, was one, uh, the DT-10 in that d demon color. And what was big about that was uh, you saw some timber in the area and there were laydowns under the water. Uh, and I was really crawling that bait. Once I'd feel that little bit of tension on the line where I was starting to come over a limb or come across a rock or something submerged, I would slow down and let that just kind of build that tension. And then as soon as it came off and it shot off of that log or off of that rock, that's when I'd get that bite. Um, so that's what we caught most of our fish on throughout the day. That's how we got our limit. But it was on that DT-10 in that demon color. Now, later in the day you saw that we we made a change, we had our limit, we decided to head back down the lake 
and we, we ran back down the lake and got into some clean water. Now the water temperature up the lake in that stained water was around 50. It was 49, bumping 50 in some places um, with that stain. Now when we went back down towards the dam, it was much clearer, but that water temperature was also, I believe, 44, 45 degrees. So there was a really big difference, uh, but we knew that going into it. And we were going down there to look for smallmouth. Uh, we pulled up on this one point with river rock on it. Wind was blowing across. I mean, it was just a perfect setup, as you can see in the video. Uh, and that fish came on uh, the underspin uh, by Strike King. I believe this was in the uh, half ounce uh, version, but uh, I fired that out there. We were probably sitting in about 25 foot of water uh, Bringing it across that point and just kind of killing it every once in a while to, to keep that bottom contact uh, But those were our two main baits That helped us put together a bag that was almost 15 pounds. We ended up finishing second uh, To Mark Rice and Steve Legg who, who brought in almost 17 uh, So congratulations to those guys and but again a, a nice confidence builder to get the season started off with the Tennessee Christian Bass Anglers so on to the next one, guys, and we'll see you later.